Synthetic natural gas SNG, is an artificial gas that serves as a substitute for natural gas and mainly consists of methane. It can be used as fuel gas in transportation and domestic purposes. Among the many production methods, coal to SNG is the most widely used and commercialized method. The advantages of coal to SNG are, coal is more abundant as compared to natural gas. Next, energy options can be diversified. Lastly, fuel prices and the global energy market can be stabilized. The figure below shows the process flow diagram for the production of SNG from coal. We will explain in details about the four main processes that are highlighted. Gasification is a partial oxidation reaction where coal is gasified with oxygen and steam to form carbon monoxide and hydrogen, the main composition of syngas. The process operates at around 800 to 1800 degrees Celsius. This is the reaction scheme for gasification process. The equations shown are the endothermic gasification reaction. Next, water gas shift is carried out. This is an exothermic reaction that is favored at lower temperature and higher steam content, which is to adjust the ratio of syngas to meet designated requirements. Some of the CO content is shifted to carbon dioxide whereas H2 content is increased. The third process is acid gas removal, which is to remove acid gases from the syngas through physical adsorption. This can be done by using either Selexal or Rectisol process. The differences between the two processes are shown in the table below. Lastly, the adjusted syngas will undergo methanation, a highly exothermic reaction that is carried out in a fixed bed catalytic reactor to produce methane. The main catalysts are as shown. Steam is added in the reaction to avoid coke formation, and later removed through condensation. The SNG is then ready for commercial applications. Below shows the reaction scheme that describes methanation, to form methane from CO and H2. Due to the strong exothermic nature of the methanation reaction that ranges from 300 to 700 degrees Celsius, and limited radial and axial heat transfer in a fixed bed reactor, it is difficult to operate a single bed reactor under isothermal conditions. For a good control of the reaction temperature, at least two or more adiabatic reactors must be connected in series. The exit gas from the first reactor is cooled by production of superheated high-pressure steam. The gas then enters the subsequent methanation stages, as shown in the figure. Now, as you can see, methanation reactors use catalysts that can withstand high temperatures. These are examples of catalysts that we can use. Thousand size and shape of the catalyst need to be adjusted based on the properties and parameters of the reactor used. 